Hey everybody, welcome to Soul with Joe. Today we have a whole bunch of really positive stories about solar energy and advancements in solar that are going to make it better than ever. And I'm going to drop my notes on the floor and then uh, we're also going to work on my 20 plus year old jeans. We've started a uh, to patch a uh, hole in the crotch here and we're going to carry on with that. So yeah, solar energy quick hits, good stories. So, in Germany, we actually have a lot of lot of energy stories coming out of Germany this week, it's, or the, today, uh, this episode. It's, um, yeah, they're, the Germans apparently are investing heavily in, in solar energy and, and power and taking steps forward, so that's a, that's a good thing, so. One story out of Germany, where a uh, contractor startup is turning some of the most energy inefficient homes in the country, um, places built in the 30s, you know, stuff like the old apartment blocks that are just horrendously energy inefficient, and they are turning them into homes that are uh, that actually have a, a, a net positive energy uh, output with the uh, solar panels that they have integrated into into their design so basically what this company does is they scan the building and then they pre-make panels in their factory which are very very thick insulated panels with solar panels on the outside uh, or at least at the top where it would be most beneficial Cheers. <clears throat> and then they come on site, they bring all these panels and they pop the panels up and put them all together and your house basically gets an exoskeleton of insulation and solar energy production. So a lot of these super old buildings, super old apartment blocks uh, suddenly becomes way easier to heat them and the energy consumption just plummets which is amazing it's kind of like just putting a winter coat onto your home and the neat part with this one I think is the um, the scanning because they'll 3d scan the home and then their technology will make the panels conform to that home. So they can just come in with these massive pre-made full wall panels, pop them in place. I would assume silicone the gaps and all the places where you know windows are and where everything meets up and seal everything else off. And yeah, just make it make it more energy efficient put on that put on that big outer jacket and i would i would assume that relative to the cost of either rebuilding those uh, buildings or remodeling them so as to have um, better insulation uh, I'm assuming that these prefab panels would be a lot more cost effective and and in in the uh, in the world of apartment blocks you can't really have that much downtime you know you can't you know evict everyone tear down your building build it you know take a couple of years and then get people back in there you know unless you have uh, significant resources uh, that's not really feasible anyways quick hits moving on to the next one Munich has their first solar bus and uh, this will save them 2500 liters of diesel and six and a half metric tons of CO2 I think per year, 2,500 liters of diesel a year. Does that sound right? Doesn't sound like enough. 
but could be. Buses in the city might not use as much fuel as I'm thinking they might. Anyways, it's a lot of a uh, lot of carbon savings, and uh, yeah, pretty cool. They've got 20, 20 panels on the on top of the bus, giving two thousand uh, watts of energy, and uh, yeah, runs AC, the steering, all sorts of stuff. I don't know if it's a pure electric bus. Now that I've said that. Maybe it's just solar adding or helping with the load. I'm not sure. <sighs> Didn't read that article very well, apparently. Or it wasn't clear. I'm not sure. That's one thing I find with some of these articles that I read. They <clears throat> purposely leave things ambiguous or make it sound like it's more of a thing than it is. You know, I'll be reading one of these articles and, you know, the way it's worded, it's like, okay. So nothing's really changed, or this technology is still, like, 20 years away. Oh, okay, well, then I don't really pay as much attention to it anymore, you know. But this story might not be one of those. Um, there's a new type of solar panel, and it... Uh, is more efficient than the old style, which is a good reason to have new technology, is that it's more efficient. Um, the old silicon style solar panels uh, are boasting about a 20% efficiency, harnessing uh, the waves coming from the sun, and this new style is, is boasting a 24% efficiency. And that's a, that's a, about a twenty percent boost in efficiency, so that's nothing to really to to really sneeze at. Um, that's that's pretty big. And if they can continue that, they're they're saying that they have the potential to reach thirty percent efficiency, and that's pretty massive. So, big steps in uh, solar energy energy production. And it uses, uh, instead of silicon, it uses carbon and something I haven't heard of before, which is called perov... I'm not even sure how to say it. Perovskite? 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 I'm not even sure. P-E-R-O-V-S-K-I-T-E. -E. And so, yeah. Um, different materials, different combinations of materials, and they are producing better results. Pretty cool. And last but not least, one thing that I've been thinking is is really important as far as the future of solar panels and electric cheers electric vehicles and storage and that sort of thing <clears throat> and that is a better storage system build a better battery and the world will make you a very rich man let's just cut to the chase on that old adage um, and this is this is interesting. This is a different way of thinking. It seems um, so. What they're doing is they're taking solar. Whoops! I dropped my needle. There we are. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Dropped my needle. Now I lost my thread. Happens to everybody. Right, 
let's try to thread this. And then we will get back to our solar storage. So when when solar energy hits certain molecules, it changes their state into what they call an isomer. And what that does is it basically puts energy into a molecule and stores it. Changes it on a on a on some level, on a molecular level, and stores that energy. So what they're doing is they have these molecules in a liquid. The liquid allows the molecules to be stored. And the liquid is exposed to solar energy. The solar energy is absorbed by the molecules, turning them into isomers. And then that energy is stored somewhat like in, in a battery but different, completely different technology as traditional batteries. And then that stored solar energy can be transported and put into gadgets, devices. And then that, as that solar energy is released, it causes heat, that heat causes electric can can be made to make electricity so rather than having solar power charge up the battery you'll have solar power charging up this liquid film but the film can be like inside a solid so it can be like a battery almost uh, if I'm understanding this technology correctly, I think I am. Um, it could really, it, you know, as long as it's a more efficient way of storing solar energy than it is to convert in a solar panel to electricity and then store it in a chemical environment like in a battery. You know, if that... solar energy storage on a molecular level can be more efficient, then that might be the next step in harnessing more solar energy. And I, I think that's what needs to happen is building, building a better battery and that seems like, seems like that's what this is. So, uh, could be the next big step in everything electronic. And solar <clears throat> is fast becoming one of the major energy producers on the planet, which is appropriate. I'm thinking deep geothermal and solar. Even just the solar, if we harness it properly, would be enough to power the world. There's all sorts of solutions out there. I still like tidal energy, but I don't know. I don't know if you take the energy away from the tides, what that'll do to the to the earth. If that would change anything. I don't know. Something to think about. A little, little beyond my level of understanding, unfortunately. So, thank you so much for joining me. I do appreciate the time we get to spend together. Until next time, keep on chilling. Don't forget your cookie. Peace.